Oh, wait, hold on. Do you think abortion lowers crime rates? Crime, crime dropped 40% after abortion became legal. Why, why is that the case? Because uh, it's called a statistic. Who, who has the most abortions in America? Um, women. Black people. Is that black so? Women. Are you trying to say the termination of blacks in the womb lower crime? <laughs> <laughs> that's a very, that's a very racist argument. That is not okay. Racist. You know blacks. You know blacks have 45 percent of the blacks. 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 I would suggest using African American. Blacks. 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 What? Blacks. 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 Blacks.
What? Affirmative action. <laughs> yes, you get jobs and internships that white kids don't get. Oh, poor, you have poor an, white people. You have, wow. an, you have entire movements dedicated to your race. They're so, like, okay. Right. Sir, do you remember the Those movements are to get oh, rights. Right. You're crazy. Okay, so, do, you, do you not believe in racism? Do, of course racism exists. The Democrat Party is still alive and well. Do you think people are racist against white people? Uh, of all the time. All the time. That's his definition. Affirmative of action is racism against white people. Yes. Okay. And Asians as well. And Asians, that's right. So I, I do have a question in that sense. If affirmative action is racism, why are most colleges predominantly white? Why are they most predominantly white? Why are most colleges, public colleges, are predominantly yeah, white? We are a, we're a majority white country. Hey, you realize that, right? Uh, so, so colleges are the depiction of the nation. Okay. And actually, blacks on campus are disproportionate more than their population in certain areas, in certain campuses, than their population. Because of affirmative action. In HBCUs? Is that C what certain you're campuses. Are you talking about HBCUs? So, but let me just ask a more broad philosophical question: Why does skin color matter at all? Why should we care about? Because it? of the society we live in. Because well, hold on. But no. You're dismissing anything that has ever happened to someone. Of color let me ask you a question: that. What can what can you do, or what can I do that you can't do? Explain what how law? Affirmative action is lowering of tests, standards, and quota Wrong. for a quota. You're an idiot. No, it's I'm not. It's the way it works. I'm I'm it's the way it works. I'm, yeah. it works. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to entertain fallacies. No. Oh. Tell me, you why? Me I'm, Just let why? him talk. We have to hear your fallacies. Why? Why does skin color matter? I believe. I believe skin color matters because of the society. He's not being respectful. Do you know how? And I guess it goes into critical race theory. Yes, it is. Because of the society we have lived in, race is a factor. If from the beginning of time race wasn't a factor, and there was never anybody who was oppressed because of their race, I feel like it would not play a part in anything that we do. But because literally less. Charlie. They are interrupting you. I was. You believe a black on black. Crime. Do I believe in black on black crime? Yeah, yeah it's abundant. Explain. Yeah, it's the number one cause of death in many black communities. I mean, I'm just being honest. Like, he is right. Okay. Now, so do you? So back to our previous argument that was interrupted. Um, so in the sense of what, well, like, like I was saying, you don't believe like because of the history and because somebody races have been oppressed. You don't believe like race plays a part in things, and you don't believe like. No, 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 that's not true. No, no. So you know, I, do you know who Thomas Sowell is? You know who Thomas Sowell is? No. I really encourage you to look. Thomas Sowell's great. He's one of the best black economists of the 20th century. Grew up in Harlem, and he's done the best research in the 1940s, 1950s, and 60s in black True. community. And essentially, his argument is that black America was experiencing a renaissance in the 50s and 60s, despite discrimination. Yes. Now, the one part that I would agree with. But, however, it's not the black community as a whole. It's Harlem black community. There are, this Chicago too, but let's pretend you're right, okay? The one argument that I would agree with, and I'm, I'm against systemic racism arguments, the one that I would say, you know what, there was something very wrong, is when Democrat Lyndon Baines Johnson came in and destroyed the black nuclear family. If there was one part where I could say, you know what, that was unjust and that has to be undone, it's when Lyndon Baines Johnson went in to the Great Society program with the intent to destroy the black nuclear family. Okay. So in that sense, do you believe the war on drugs also played a part? Or not do you not really. believe in no. the war on drugs? Well, look, I mean, I believe we should be very harsh on drugs. But I think there is, I would give some merit to the argument of some government agencies peddling cocaine in the inner cities. There is, there is evidence to show that. I'm not going to debate it. Do I think it has the, so for example, like there's one number that I'm fascinated with, right? Single motherhood in the black community was about 28% in 1945. Mm -hmm. Okay? Right now, now it's around 65 to 70%. Yeah. Why? Are we more racist than we were in 1945? No. Okay. No. So then what happened? Militarization. The war on drugs. Okay, the fair enough. The war on drugs. Um, the demolish, demolishing the nuclear family, in a sense. Right. And I believe due to the history that's happened, it, racism is still very prevalent in a lot of the systemic, I mean, a lot of the systems that yeah. are in America, correct? Yeah. So, no, no, of course not. But I'm actually, I was actually caught by your shirt. You know Malcolm X was super pro-life? Yes. I, I think Malcolm X could teach a lot of the black movement something, because it, it, more so than Martin Luther King, because Malcolm X, I'm, I'm getting there, Ma Malcolm X, I, I, they, some people miss, don't describe him correctly as being violent, right? That was a very small part of his literature. 
he was very big on trying to get black America, America to, succeed, to, to succeed despite the black, to, despite the white liberal. Yes. And I, not the white liberal. He did say white liberal. Oh, you go look up the Malcolm X white liberal quote. Okay. And so I think that's interesting. Just think about it. Go look up the, what Malcolm X warned against white liberals owning black America for their own gain, so, which is exactly what BLM is. Okay, so back to, my, back to my initial yeah. point. Back to my initial point. You don't believe that my truth can be different than yours, specifically no, no, based ex on race. No, experiences can be different, but there is always a truth. I'll give you an example. We all might have five different opinions of a car crash, right? But eventually a truth will be revealed of what really happened. Does that make sense? So you believe that your truth is, your the truth that you have found yourself is the ultimate truth? I would hope so, yeah. And I'm willing to learn. And then make America great again. Otherwise, I mean, and I'm actually, I think Malcolm X can teach us a lot right now. Yes. What do you think about like the 1960s and 70s militarization of the police? The shift in the police? Um. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm generally very pro-police. What about the mil what about the military? I mean, what? the question is, what came first? And I honestly don't know the answer. Was it the rise in crime, or was it the incre was it the the well, police that went into the? If you knew what you were talking about, you would know the answer. Yeah, it's not so clear yeah, um, because there was a massive crime wave in the early 1970s in New York, where a lot of New Yorkers demanded more police with heavy, heavy we heavier weaponry and the ability to. to enforce the law. And post-militarization of the police, crime went up. And then Poorly. it went down in the 80s. Poorly Violent crime went big time. Down well, let's big talk time. about the 10 years that right after. What happened there? What do you think happened so, there? So you're drawing a correlation between police officers uh, being true. militarized and more people committing crimes. Over militarization of the police, yes. Is Why? The, not exactly more people committing crimes, more people being arrested for crimes. Okay. And put into jail or okay. minor Yeah, I mean, I, 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 can't, I can't disagree with that. Uh, the prison system, I mean, we account for... Yeah, I mean, for I, I, why do people go to prison, right? Because they commit crimes, so... Okay. After watching this, I am kind of shocked at our generation. There's our future generations, like our future leaders right here that are talking like this. I'm surprised. I am surprised, like... The, the manner of the way they are sounding like and how they were talking to Charlie was very disrespectful, number one, by telling him to shut up. Like, this is, I know it's an open space, but there are, there are ways of approach. You have to follow someone who you are talking to to talk. You don't disrespect them. That itself, it's something that ought to be standard. You don't disrespect who you are following to have a discussion with or a dialogue with. You don't disrespect them. Is a open conversation both of you are having. You don't tell him to shut up. So watching these teenagers, uh, some of them are youths, speak. Uh, I kind of like. I'm shocked at our future. These are these are future leaders right here, and they are all sounding this way, and um, behaving in this this kind of manner. They just want to overshadow Charlie. I know some of the points right here was was true and right, but. A lot of the what they were saying was actually wrong. And uh, Thomas Sonwell is a perfect person. I think they need to go read his books or hear him speak. He's a perfect person that talks more about black people, that you understand where we are coming from. The history of BLM, the history of black as a whole. You need to go read that man's book and understand where. You, you have that clarity. Uh, Chala was talking about him right here and some of them over here who was talking about the Black Lives Matter, about racism, they, they literally know nothing about Thomas Sunwell. So it, it, it's, it's very shocking to me. You are arguing with Charlie and you are rudely speaking to him and some of the, the ladies here, the girls said they really don't know what accountability really means. The other guys who were shocked that Charlie used the word black so what do you expect him to use? <laughs> like what word are you expect him to use? He said black and you are you are you are angry, you call it African American. What do you mean by African Americans? African Americans, where are you from? Do you fear from the tree? Are you anti black too? Like it's crazy how they were shouting you are using the word black. Like is that is it not like black life matter? Is it African American lives matter or black lives matter? Like it's crazy how the narrative of black people have shifted to a different, different scenario because everything when they mention a white man mentioned black, you see them as racist. It's crazy. 
So he Charlie using the word black now, you are pissed and hey, she didn't use the word black. African Americans use the word African American African Americans, did they come from the jungle? Or did they, they fell up from the tree? And they, and they're black too? Am I not black? It's, it's it's funny because you two are black and why are you hiding from the blackness that you are black? Did she refer Charlie should refer to as African Americans? Like it's crazy. Whereas you come out with a with a bald sign poster. Black Lives Matter, and you, you are refusing to accept the word black. Like, it makes no sense. Like, seeing this video, watching this video right here, I'm shocked at our future because these are future leaders. These are future leaders that are thinking in this kind of manner, this kind of aspect that shocks me, that surprises me. The guy with the hair, with the motorbike, um, with the bike, um, cap, or oh, the guy with the hair, with the, the guy with the white. Who was talking to Charlie to tell him to shut up? Like, that's what self got me paced. There was a um white guy who was there was like, why wouldn't tell? Why would you tell him to shut up? Then the black guy right here with the white was actually defending himself. Why do Charlie to shut up? Like, it makes no sense. And I love how Charlie humbled himself and respectfully slides that weight like as if the guy wasn't talking to him. There are way of approach. There are manner of approach. I'm just shocked. The two ladies right here that are acting smart and asking questions back. They both do not know what accountability really means. The entire video was beautiful to watch. I love how Charlie was very precise and humbled and answered him purely about racism, about black, black life matter, about the system as a whole. It was beautiful to watch. But at the same time, I was really disappointed at our future generations and how they think the way of approach and how they see life to be. They were also talking about um, abortion and everything. The black lady was like, it's a body at choice. Like, it makes no sense. So her statement was like, um, ever since abortion came in place 40 years ago, crime rates dropped 10%. The, the funny thing is, black people commit, like, black people <laughs> in america are the ones who carry out this abortion more so do you tell me that it's because of the black people that crime rates reduce like explain much further like explain much further i don't know how people think about nowadays like the abortion of a thing they don't want it to get off people are glorifying promiscuity like I'm just surprised. I'm just surprised how this generation thinks. The abortion of a thing, they see abortion as a as something that is, is good, is the body the choice, whereas the abortion of a thing is something that is terrible. Because you consented to have sex and your sex without protection led to a baby and you choose to get rid of the baby. A fetus or embryo, whatever name you call it. But that fetus and embryo is a baby, it's going to form into a baby. And you choose to get rid of it because you feel like it's not you're not ready for the baby yet. Like it makes no sense. Our generation right here, guys, it's it's shocking. I'm seeing this young, vibrant youth teenagers sounding this way. I am really shocked at our generation, guys. So comment down below. Tell me what you think about this video. Give us give us a thumbs up. Share this video as many as you can, guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag, like an old lady I'm back, wood smoking, I don't own papers Pass that 808, that don't, don't shake her Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater Baby, mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore Buku bitches in my bed, I got scales all